So let's just get started. So explain uh, to us uh, the concept of IOC and why should companies work with it? Uh, okay, so before we actually go um, into what IOC is, right, we need to take a step back and understand uh, why there was a need to do IOC. Right. Uh, so historically speaking, uh, the historical applications or the applications created in the legacy environments, right, uh, on-prem servers and things of that nature. Uh, so every application that a company or a business has uh, requires some infrastructure to actually uh, operate it on, right? And that historically has been a very manual process where human beings are involved. You have to hire uh, specific teams, uh, professionals that essentially know how to manually configure uh, each of these environments, right? Uh, which uh, in most cases are a set of servers uh, that have uh, ranging from network storage to compute, providing services across these three pillars, right? And um, historically, all of this has been very manual. So each configuration server will have its own configuration. People will do it manually. There is going to be zero to, <clears throat> excuse me, minimal documentation. And that leads to inconsistencies in the infrastructure itself and leads to uh, environmental drifts. Uh, that is what it's called in the IT term, right? And that uh, becomes a nightmare very quickly if you uh, want to scale up. Uh, because of human involvements, uh, error rates are really high. And once something goes wrong, it's uh, even more painful to revert it back to the right, uh, uh, right, uh, right strategy. Right? That's uh, because there is no set uh, steps or set uh, processes that are actually followed to get there. That is where the infrastructure as code revolution, as I call it, is coming in. Right? Uh, infrastructure as code, as the name suggests, it allows you to essentially deploy all of the infrastructure that was previously done manually by hand. Uh, in terms of code, right? what that gives you is essentially speed, consistency, and accountability. These are uh, the three fundamental uh, pillars of ISE. Uh, with speed, you increase your time to market uh, in terms of uh, actually you reduce it in terms of getting more features to the market. You increase developer efficiency. You uh, increase consistency across environments, reduce drifts, and you create accountability. Uh, because all of your ISC is essentially uh, version controlled and it's defined in terms of code. So you have full trail, uh, you can fully audit all of the stuff that is happening, right? So you can pinpoint down to the lowest level of change in your infrastructure, maybe adding a new port or removing a new port. All of that is completely documented and audited so that in case of any errors or some things unknown, you have a way of going back to the desired state, right? And um, uh, of course, there are a lot of other details that we can go into, right? but, but uh, uh, at a very higher level, the benefits include uh, tremendous cost reduction uh, in terms of operating your applications, uh, increased in the speed of deployments, reduction in errors, uh, improving infrastructure consistency, and above all, eliminating the environmental drifts and providing a full holistic view into how your infrastructure looks like. Okay, that's great. So it seems like there are a lot of tangible, tangible benefits. Thank you.